All right, there we go. Welcome, live stream anti Stasi Armor Three. <clears throat> Code Red. This is a big one. Um, the global mobilization DLC uh, on top of a very, very large map. Um, I actually overlaid it over Chinaris, but it might actually be bigger than that. Um, authentically mapped on part of Germany. And the scenario is based on two factions. Um, we'll load up the mission. If it hasn't saved, I'll recreate it, but we'll, we'll see. You can see in this map here, it's pretty substantial. I have to zoom in a little bit and you realize how many. I think it is it 400 square kilometers. Uh, so. <laughs> what a big task. Easily, um, easily as uh, vicious as Altus gets over the, you know, this kind of distance because you're not able to sort of close them down easy. So any, any air bases that remain out there are quite able to just, you know, send to something from, from the support corridor out there. It's, it's going to be really good. So the way I've kind of configured this or should have, oh, it's like a, a dry run. It should be um, along the lines of, well, there we got that saved. Is that going to show me the setup? Yes, it is. So the Red Army, um, and this is Cold War only, so we're, we're keeping it within the period of time maps designed for, scenarios designed for, um, everything on Cold War only. Um, the Red Army have taken over everything. Um, the US are going to be the uh, Cold War Army and the Thorn in the side, you know, want to kind of take over things as well. And we'll just be very, very unhappy um, locals who are basically going to try and get all the land back, of course. Um, parameters and everything I've got as default. I'm not going to change a thing. I'll leave it as the mission is intended. And I've just got one pack on there. There's an awful lot of DLC you can get. None of this the, is going to relate to this particular scenario of what I'm running today. So pure 1980s uh, hardware, which um, still had things that go. Uh, Bang in a big way, so we'll see how this goes. Right, times two eight twenty two. That sh this should be, should be an untouched save. So I'm going to load that straight in. See what happens. There you can see all the new assets. So new trees, bushes, the grass. It's uh, slightly different from you know, apparently uh, changed in a lot of uh, authentic buildings, uh, which are looking very nice. I have not seen virtually hardly anything in this map. When I, I bought it at a DLC and I just loaded it into the editor just to have a look like basic layout and I just jumped to a specific town. I thought, hmm, that looks good, but that's the most I know about this. So everything that I'm going to be going up against the terrain, the lot, is all going to be you know, brand new to me. 20 by 20 kilometer. <sighs> looks pretty nuts. Is it tight? What? What does it say on the, um, I'm, I'm going to have to wait a minute for this to load. It is a really large map. What, what the server's doing now is flexibly building it, um, back up to parameters that we have before. It takes it a little bit longer than some of the others because of the amount of, you know, places on the map. Let's have a look. If I get up three, um, global. mobilization I'll look at the steam page it should tell me somewhere in here there's yeah, 80 vehicles and vehicle variants <clears throat> um, where's the map size it's somewhere here uh, so it's Originally designed for Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany against East Germany. Now, those uniform layouts and things like that are all part of the pack. But when I went to anti-Stasi, even adding the current, you know, this is basically three, uh, three CB actions and then all the RHS that supports that. But it does have a Cold War mode, so it's more fitting for you. 419 square kilometers of usable area. It's a lot. 50 fully destructible settlements in both West and East Germany. 
Prepare your ambushes from scattered wood areas, or have tank battles at each other at great distances on farmland, uh, with each presenting its own major challenges. Oh yeah, it does have a winter variant of this map as well, so you get to you know, the best of both major seasons, uh, if you wish. The grandiose scale, hence why it's taking its time. It is loading up. <clears throat> In fact, while it is loading up, I notice, I don't have a specific this map, but the clouds look a little bit odd. But if you, um, if you change it to any other setting, like ultra or heavenly or something, just resets itself back. I don't know why it does it for the map, but that just seems to be a thing. Authentic, this version. First, so third person is out the window. You're going to be seeing it through the uh, eyes of the character, so we're going to have to start like looking around corners. <clears throat> oh, there we go. So it's set to a custom difficulty setting, which is allowing this mission to basically operate as it was intended without me sort of like dumbing it down a little bit to give us a third person and <clears throat> so it could be vicious hello Petros it's SKS there I think I have one of those yeah we are the um, CCM and uh, effectively this is all we got to <laughs> start off with um but you know, it's just the way it is. Right, Petros, I'm gonna put you inside one of these wonderfully modeled buildings. I'm even gonna have a look inside. I think I'll put them in there. That's where we keep the whole, uh, tanks when we get them. Eventually, why does it put us on the map then? All right, that's not bad. So, I, I bet this is not gonna allow me to actually even use view markers here. Nope. We're gonna, we're gonna have to use a compass and map. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Roundabout directions that way. Whoa. Okay. Come on, Winter. Let's all out here. <laughs> I still really like this wallpaper. <laughs> oh. Petros, I love it. <clears throat> Rob, how you doing? Welcome back. Glorious. How are you do? Have you seen Five Days in Fallujah? No. Uh, actually, no, but yes, maybe trailer. Reminded me, I said they got an actual Marine playing it with his buddies. Well, I'll be able to authenticate it, right? Roughly here. Drop off the stuff. But what is CCM? It's not China. It's not China Rusian. It's not the Ch CDF. CCM. The. It's not the communist something. Out there. Just try and make something up certifiably correctly mental. I don't know, something like that. Let's save this. Yeah. Good. All right, map info. Total population 5,109. We have zero support, of course. That will soon change when I start wrecking stuff. I read army support. And then we'll just have to see if the US can start winning some its own territory. Though the way this scenario starts off, it's not given the US actually nothing. It 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 actually looks like it's split up almost 50-50. With Reds having a nice chunk of the resources, it seems. Hmm. Let's see if we can wind up right layout. Oh, one before layout. I want to, so I'm running around. I'm going to turn the head bow off. Uh, other key could be the Zeus one. 
sometimes that gets in the way. Why being the player menu? That depends, I think, if I'm actually unconscious or not. Let me go to Zeus and change it to shift control and insert. I don't need the uh, first person thing. All right, third person thing. Low doubt. Craziness going on in Russia in real life. Yes, it is. Um, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. Uh, Prigozhin, um, head of the uh, the uh, Wagner Group, decided to because he's not happy with the the treatment and everything else and all that sort of thing that's going on. Decided to march towards Moscow, which is what I find amazingly. Okay, this is what I find. The first thing that strikes me is obviously mutiny. Um, if it was that. The second thing is how easily they managed to start to advance. Zeno! Thank you for the 15 months. Thank you very much. The great in green there. Um, that surprised me. Um, maybe because obviously one doesn't really want to fire in the other or maybe progression is quite friendly with the the individuals that is you know took over in other words saying we're going to do this in the right way and i just need to talk i don't know i don't know just speculating but the strange thing is and this is the strange thing is that, okay the rumor is that he's now going back towards belarus now belarus is a whole other topic that is obviously one of the countries that's kind of heavily influenced if not totally controlled by putin's will and thus um if he puts the wagner group in there he then put Pogosian as head of belarus and turn it into a Russian state. Um, th in theory, speculation. Um, so maybe that was kind of like, uh, just to like uh, create a load of publicity and bits and pieces, and he really never intended on on ousting his friend Putin. However, when you intend to do something like that, it's almost like, why don't you go through with it? Because if you don't go through with it, and he absorbs all his forces into the Russian army, you know, make some signed contracts and things like that, then what use is he? All of a sudden, you're head of the Wagner Group, and tomorrow you're basically target number one because they never forget, you know. So I know it's it, it's certainly um, a very uh, surprising thing. I think from the Western side of things, it'll be like, well, he looks weak because he's not able to control uh, his own f factions in play, um, and of course, it made Putin actually get onto national TV and have to address the issue nationally rather than through a phone call, which is pretty big. So I'm sure they'll have to come out with some kind of counter thing on TV later. But who knows? Cynical. Thank you very much. 15 months, sunny days. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, it is. It's uh, uh, 29 uh, today. Pretty roasting. I love this start with an SKS. I could probably go the whole campaign with such a weapon. Uh, we do not have any kind of anti-tank by default available. Well, some good, some not. What are these? I mean, they're very form of different colours. What are they? It's a flare. Oh, cool ones. Not actually going to even see that, but it reminds me. Didn't they have that in the Vietnam add-on pack? Something like that. We can have hand players. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we. I'd prefer the pistol. You know, if we call it, it'd be good if it comes with some kind of calls on some kind of strike. But I think that's just to like let know where we are. Right, pistol holder. Ooh. Oh, great protection, first of all. Huh? <laughs> the map case and holder. <laughs> oh, uh, what can take the most? There's a little more weight. <laughs> At least we get a backpacker. Okay, we've got an assault medical. That can, yeah, Phil can still take the most. Oh man, change your shirt. You just want to look like a proper rebel leader 
even the rebels or resistance resistance local resistance Sedical William going on welcome Tehran that's crazy yeah I mean I, I don't know what you'll think of it but it definitely is um it definitely is a, a massive turn of events there's a lot of local pressure happening now because it's quite ov obvious with the the kind of splinter groups that have been going in and causing a bit of havoc that there's a, have crossed that line because across the Russian line is huge, right? Um, but ideally, that's not the intention. The point trying to be made here is like, well, you've taken land that wasn't wasn't yours, um, and really, the fight wasn't meant to travel into the any other place, but. Three types of SKS from it. One trace around the two X, two X red traces. What every two is a red tracer, or don't know quite what that. Take some, let's try it. Take some of those. Or and take also bolt cutter. Oh yes, we've got plenty of fences around here. <laughs> There is one large one that set, I'll show you where it separates the map. Maybe you need that to go through it. Right through it. <laughs> um, okay. Med box. I'll make sure it's the same one. We've got vehicle first gray med kit. That probably I'll take this. That's the one I know definitely. Yours all. Right, I need some granadas. Got the VOG 17 and the VOG 25. Which one's going to give us the biggest boom? The 25. Smoke grenades. I'll take some of them. Shout at them if they don't work. And explosives. Oh, we do. We've got some large IED dug in. I fit one in the pocket. Looks like I can. I'm going to save this default. Mm. I want some ammo for that. Got my pistol ammo. Save. Done. Wonderful. I did not check to see if there's any attachments for this. I was to pick anything to start with out of all the other guns. I think uh, shotty in that is not good enough. Do we have any attachments for us at all? None. Oh, all the Mosin. Both great weapons. Uh, PPSH if you want to clear the room and suppress. I'll try and go for a bit of accuracy. Alright, ready to go almost. Headquarters is here. We've got a US Army military base here. Uh, that is across a river. The... Where is it? Somewhere here is a very, very large wall that separates. It's a bit lower. Where are you? There. This is huge. This boundary fence. You can see all the way down here. I'm guessing that's why you need the cutters if you're going on foot. But it spans a huge part of the map. Let's see if that... Uh, necessary. There's an outpost just in the corner of it there. Hmm. Factory. See, I always like to go, if I can, I'd like to go for a resource area first of all to start things off. There's one in the north here. It's quite a trek. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to have a look at this factory. I'll go south. Through uh, Salzdorf, Mackendorf, and then on to that. So, somewhere in a southerly direction that way. New vehicles and men. So, we've got eight HR to start with. Have to make an impression. Let's, see what, let's get a mission from Petros as well. I like the, the logistics ones because they can. 
Okay, there's a ton of weapons. I'm gonna request one. Give me a logistics mission. Catch the airdrop. Which, believe it or not, is not far away, but in totally the opposite direction I wanted to go to, and right next to a US Army outpost. That's hilarious, Petros. You could train them to crash somewhere else. Ever 19. I've got I got serious doubts on unless I can take an MG car or something. I'm just is that a it's just like a general boundary fence separating the two sides. Go with the fact that it's not it's not like got MGs and every fifty meters or something crazy. Wow, that's a fishing boat you get there. Oh, nothing with <laughs> nothing with guns yet. Mm. No, that takes three. UAZ takes okay. Let's take the UAZ and take six. All right, first recruits. Medic two, two, three. Four, five, and six. Brilliant. Who, who's got the SKS? Yeah, that's the... Oh, well, I'm impressed already. They're actually spawning with decent guns. You know how before they would just have like these ridiculous uh, submachine gun pistols or whatever they are. It... Good. Everyone in the lemons. Jumping, 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 jumping. Right, so instead of going south, we're going to this mission which is north of the position. If I follow the road all the way up halfway to the town and then directly north. It looks actually like there's a whole trip. Wait a minute, if I go off road to the top of that and make my way through Yes, let's do that. Kind of in a about three twenty. The edge of that bend of the road. I've got ammo. I've got mid kit. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> hey, look at these dudes finally kitted out some decent. If the oh, thought about this, keep your eyes on the road. So from here. Oh, I can see it. We just followed this tree line through. And spotty connection. Get out of this connection. Spotty. I'm on. And I saw... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just come up with a prompt wanting my password for a software update. Chill out, Apple. easy to follow this tree line. We'll keep continuing going all the way to the crash site. So we need the tools to get through the fence or we'll just drive straight through it. No, go around it. Hey, you super. Lazarus. to the crash site here. My stomach, I'm here. Yes, because we're real close to the edge. So we're right here. Alright, so this is just a great big do not pass wall. Probably separating the two two state players in the the game, which actually also represents between the US Russia on this one. So this side we're in at the moment is Russian territory as it stands. I'm assuming there's going to be a plume of smoke or something from it. It's a recent crash. There 
There's a tower up there. It's ATC or something. So this is the stretch here. So just ahead of us should be the crash site. Or is it one of those put the smoke grenade? Oh great. <clears throat> I've just seen what's uh, the problem there. <laughs> We've <laughs> got time to go back if necessary. This is not a crash, this is a call. Wait. Okay, while well, we're here. It's fragmentation, Grace. Right, oh, get out. Is one of you got the one in the backpack? You must have a smoke grenade on you, you must do. All right, everyone disembark. All right, just like stand still a second. Let's have a look in your backpack. Stay still. Thank you. <laughs> it's just, it's great when you got a proper prepared, prepared crew. You know, <clears throat> God knows what situation I'd be in if they were human players. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to say it, but. So connect chat GTP to, I'm going to leave you guys behind. See you later. No, come with me. Regroup. I'm just going to park in here. Because we need to throw the smoke grenade somewhere around here, I'm guessing. I'm going to try it just above here. Plus, I prefer to be in cover. Will it get through the trees? Alright, control G, change it to smoke grenade. I guess we're around about the right place, so I'm thinking up here. All of you guys. Hold up. Oh, it's kicked off. Where would that be? That's Red Army versus the uh, the Blues already. That might be a good distraction, though, to get this done. Who am I fighting against? The uh, Red Army. Uh, the Russian Army have majority of the the map the US have this area of things kind of down this fenced off northeast region all right I'm gonna do it here Getting any message. Let's see if I can get an approximate position. Damn, that's not close enough. Right. That's going to be a problem. Because it's like, how the hell do you do that? So that means I'm kind of too far over that side. I'm too far north. This is when you so badly need GPS. If I move that room, move, move it over here. Now show me where. I'm. I can't be there. Right. Hold still. Everyone stop. Stoy. I'm going to need a lot of smoke grenades, guys. Sorry about this. <laughs> Give it, uh, what? Signal grenade. Well, that's good, too. Got a toolkit on him. He's got, like, one more grenade. He hasn't got any. I even got a backpack. Let's go rake this thing. Not with me. So by approximation, we're looking just for that kink as an offence. 
This thing has got the authentic approach here, so when I click on a marker, I can't, I don't actually see it. Usually I'll be able to, that would come up as an actual marker I can see. So if I press locate, which is right there, where are we? Oh, this is so iffy. Because this is, this is basically, this is player position, but it's approximate position. It's not like... Line up. The only way I can do it is line up with that fence. Which is going to be straight to my west. Let's see if we get eyes on that fence. F6 to open their entire inventory. Really? Or F6 while in there? Or F6 from the menu? F6 team. Ports. No. Hmm. Right, I think we've got reference to the fence. Yes. What a crazy way to do things. <clears throat> now, how close is it now? I think we're to the fence. See the, I don't think there's any uh, proper way to tell this. Because it's just going to follow where my cursor is. I'm just going to zoom in there and then go. I've, I've got an idea. F2 and send the individual there. That's it, that's the medic. Rest, so follow the medic. The rest of you come with me. Where's he gone? I've lost him. Damn it, I lost my medic. Oh, I know why. It's the default settings for this. On the max range. Minute, come back. That's the buy. The rest of you go there. I'll follow where they go. Select an individual in F6. I'm curious. Right, we've got it. Nice work, medic. Throw a grenade right there, which should be white smoke. Go there and throw any smoke grenade on the ground. The pilot will notice a signal and drop the cargo. Bring HQ before. 1119 I haven't got a radio so they can't radio but it's, co it's coming over I can hear it I'll oh, shoot you guys Close that drops. That's it, go get them. Did it make it through the trees? There it is. It's actually a little bit further to the northwest than I like. Careful here, also. No, don't tell them that's right near that fence. Right near an army base, remember? Can he 
apparently some sort of truck too. Improvise. the hornet's nest. Oh yes. Стрелок! 300 метров! Север! to do. We could try and fight them. Oh, hello. Where can I get a trap from? Ouch. Right, let's retreat a second. Oh, I had a med kit on me. I don't. I didn't pick that up. That's right, medic might get me. A little treatment, please. I've got two options here. I could try and have a go at that military post. It might be a, just a small checkpoint, which could be achievable, and maybe we'll get a truck there. I have to go back to the road, leave it there. We've got until 11.19. That's not a lot of time. knows at this. See if, see if there's a truck here. Soldat, 300 meters, Sierra Zapad. See where they're shooting from. Put some cover down. And get around the side. Alright, he's getting two up. Where are they? Get across and get some shots at them. That's why I was off 100 meters. I was at 300 meters.
Might be able to take this, you know. Oh, he says that gets one in the foot. To get over here. Oh boy, have I got a limp now. Bad thing is, I don't see a truck. Damn it. It's hard to see through that fence. Man, they were hammering me. I had enough. That's the way they're going to play. Alright then. Read one, two, six, niner, four, one. Don't have a radio, but I'm just working smoke by. signals. I guess. Oh, there's only two left. <sighs> Alright. Let's try and do a recovery. I think both sides took some losses there. Sort this out now. Got an ID in there, right? But no med kit. That's the one. Now oh, save. Done. And smokes. Don't need for this mission now. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the fence there is making it really hard to see what, what's going on, but it actually looks like quite a small um, outpost. Something that is uh, is takeable. Let's get um, let's get this one, GOZ. I can recruit a couple more. Four, join group. Let's go get that stuff back. There is time. Medic and the others should be, uh... Hold on, are we missing one? Whatever. So what we're going to do is... Hmm. Go pick up the stuff. Grab whoever's uh, still around. Because they probably will be traveling back this way now. And get the mission complete. But I think... I'm wondering if uh, armored truck... Little peeps will just smash through the barrier and... there. It doesn't really look like it's not even so as far as I could see you at least from there they didn't have any mounted weapon systems on the it's quite um it was almost like you know your initial checkpoint with not much backup although that changes sometimes when you hit it because it might reinforce it was around this corner it goes to flat edge and then straight across oh 
Oh, this is good. So we've got uh, five join as well. Four or five. With this edge. I need to turn in to go to about here. Move to the other side. Got the regroup order, so they should be moving towards. There's the first uh, truck. Let's see if we can grab that on the way back out. Right, first off, you guys deploy here. Three outs. Hmm, still alive. All right, was it further to the left? Sit in front. Right there. Yeah, we're not giving up. Just two, right? Where's the rest of them? They're called to my HUD. They're actually all alive. Maybe two down. We in? So we go with these in. Got check. One, two. Good. We can't climb the back of it. Alright, fair enough. So where are the others then? Getting to drive that four by four back. The UAZ with me. Where is it? With the team, we don't have radios, so I'm not able to hear the conversation unless they're in range of being able to shout at them. Now, I don't see them obviously on the map, a veteran or high or custom, whatever it is. But if I go to six, it's showing nothing as if they're dead. Radio. I do not know. Yeah, this 
Scuzzy, anyone who's going for it. Alright, I think we're going to get hell. Who's this? Three. Alright, three, get in there. Three! Driver, get to that vehicle! Follow me. Tower, I think I'm looking at that. Let's get out of here before backup arrives. It's just according to the HUD, it 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 looks like a you know, status check. It is giving me commands to send him somewhere, you know, somewhere, because usually they're, if they're dead, they kind of come up as not be able to do anything. Seven, return to formation. And I'm not going to know because I can't actually. Move 100 meters back. Return to formation. Report status. But they're not going to, are they? Because it's not in vocal range. But hell, I'm going to get this back first. There we go. They will rip. <laughs> they will gong. No, they need radios. Otherwise, it, they'd have to be in uh, vocal range. Oh, they're mad. You have this back. Actually, you're gonna have to properly learn the map for once. Join the road somewhere here. This should be fine. Chateau? I think that is the home. I should hit a road first. Out here. No. Looks like it. So I came back with the objective stuff.
done. But lost. How many do we lose? Six. <clears throat> but gained some valuable intel. There. does actually yeah wooden wooden beams but reinforced to brick so you could say it's a hybrid used to be the horse hair and the uh the the plaster paris papier mache horse hair mix is uh well, lime stuff i don't know whatever they used to mix it with this is probably replaced it you bit you about right Was that was good? Where is number three then? Get over here. Three, move to grid. One, two, six, nine, four, one. What would we do without GPS now? Hopefully, he turns up. Otherwise, he's fired. We've got three left. So, I'm not going to do the crazy thing and immediately attack this, but I do think this particular outpost would be achievable with a handful of peeps, especially when they were fighting probably the locals from Randolph as well. What is the closest resource area to us it's quite a remote one here Bensdorf not here similar distance Nothing easy. We have to travel all the way over to there reading a map. Oh, reading a map. I would have thought do that again. I was brought up reading a map, mind. There's no resource area that is an easy grab unless we go right into enemy territory and try and grab. I mean, I do fancy the fighting position here because you can sort of use the buildings, etc. as cover. But not very far away, it has a outpost. Let's come down that road, whatever they got parked there. What's going on, Ali? You mean here? At Bensdorf? I mean, de defeating that smaller outpost would give... Would give me some prestige. And maybe sway the local town and we'll get some more recruits. But holding it at the moment is a problem. Don't have the manpower to hold stuff. But here is a military administration. Yes. Why don't we try and go for one of those? Get the intel from. Go in undercover. SKS in the backpack. It's not going to work. In the car, maybe. Yeah, but 
this particular position is of great interest because I can see that it's actually surrounded by the reds, but the administration is by the blues. So just by our arrival on there, we're going to kick something off. I mean, if I could drive in there and just sort of pick the shots. And it's like where you'd like, you'd really want to get out of the stuff as well. Where else can we cause some trouble? Is there any other administration? There's one here. Papen Road. Directly west. Off road west, all the way to the edge of Papen Road. To get over the river, though. And that could be a checkpoint. And that. Hmm. Maybe to here on foot. To here. I'll have a look. Let's try that. Right, where is Kappa? Let's take control of these gun walkies. Ah. Oh my god, he's still here. He's bust a wheel. You've, you've got him. Bust the wheel. Oh, let's get our second year an engineer. Oh my. We should fire this one straight away, shouldn't we? Alright, you. Get out of it. Failed. I already drive like that, so we don't need any more. Alright, team of four. Have a medic. Sapper. Mm. Anti tank. What do they come with weapons wise? Good, that's case. Excellent. To the truck. So we're heading for... I just got to hit the river. I know where I am. And we're heading for... Papen Road. Papen Road. Which I keep going exactly west, we should be right. Several hours later. Straight west. A little bit off. Looks like I can go around this stuff, so I'll do that. Going straight through the forest. There's a track here. Where have I picked up a road then? I'm on this road. But all the way here, if I picked it up here, and I don't want to follow this. It's going to take me right, of course. Sure. This is like a V shape. It must be here. No. Get out of it. Here. There. And then up to there. Otherwise, we're going through a lot of. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, a lot of stuff. But that one goes through somewhere. It's... Or it looks like it's going to go through. It's going to take an L shape. Straight to the right. Bushes is harder than the. I haven't checked that out yet. I would have thought. I would have thought if they, if they're redesigning everything, you know, to make it look super authentic like they've done here, that they would have sorted out the issue with the bushes and not given them like sort of the properties of titanium. But we'll test that later, flying off the road at 150 miles an hour. No, travelling towards them and that way to... No, we'll, tr we'll actually test it right now. And as we can see, clearly, they still have a bit of a bite. It, they also collapse afterwards. Yeah, that... They've... is still looking past that one. Okay, Robo. A nice thick bush could maybe do a little damage, but that one, traveling 100 miles an hour, it'd probably blow up. He's a uh, member of the uh, resistance forces, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, shock absorbers are great. See the end. Almost through this. And then hopefully onto the river. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lucky. See that being a problem. Much easier if you just do not use the mouse at all, just keep staring straight ahead. I tend to start look around all the time and it kind of um, yeah, spatial awareness. You know, like recycle bed springs or something. Carpet on the seat. Okay, stop here a second. To road. Yes, we are where we're meant to be. Would you flip and believe it? So we just got to keep going west from this and not hit river. Oh, for us! Get out! Oh my god! I need a shot on that car. Or it gets a shot on me. <laughs> Just had to be a roadblock there, didn't there? 
Come on, guys, survive. Oh, got me. Can you take me to safety? Let's see what we could use that MG car going in. No way. Go on. Papa, you legend. All right, now they're pushing. Come on, quick, 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 quick. But it must be a bad injury. Medic. See if they've shot the guy at the gunner seat. One, taking command. They, they're still alive too. Come on, turn, 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 turn. See one. I think they might have got the gunner. They were also all up. Right, combat mode, guys. Danger! There's the vehicle. Whoa, there is the vehicle. It's hammering me good. Shit. Can't get a shot on it though. Just lost one. One down. One up. Right, I've got him, I think. It's this vehicle here that I can't get a shot on. Right, I'll wait for him to get him up. Can I go? Can I go? Oof. Go. Go. Join group. To cover. I need to change my angle. I have no shot on that thing. Damn, I still can't see his bonnet. There you are. Also one on foot, still limping about. I can catch him on the way. What? There it is. Got him. Gunner down. It's like one limping somewhere. Got him. 
Right, let's go for the teammates. Whew. Rough. Right, where are they at? Two of them up, they're just injured. Where's our other one? They're dead? Whoa. What was that? Rocket? Tell these guys I have to look at Strambulus. Oh, medic's good. So disembark. Disembark what? Very confusing. I feel like I'm missing a soldier somewhere to res, but I think we've got one down, two up. So we're, we're okay. Let's go check this out then. Let's see if we get the intel. interrogated and try and recruit but this is going to be very useful oh, where we go come on do it stay there Other weapons and ammo, whatever you need. Probably better I get a radio if they got one on them. They do. Best two, I'll we'll take that. Keep the SKS. you around here. Machine gunner. Hmm. Do we release or do we recruit? This is the dude who's got the information. Let's interrogate this one. You found a Red Army decryption key allows you to fetch the fully equipped next support call. Excellent. How about you join us? Excellent. We just got their leader. How about you join us? Well, so that's fairly successful. First aid kits. Those are working order. Tempting, but we'll let him go. Breathe. 
Oh, so two's definitely dead. Let's get the truck. If it's still usable. I'm pretty sure I saw... Smoke. Bit scared of this, actually. Engine fuel red. Alright guys, let's move away. I won't let the enemy have that for free. I could possibly need to best small granadas. Hey, everybody in. We lost one. We'll continue the mission. Three, four, get in that vehicle. Seem to have more control of gameplay with this map. Potentially. It went out of control there <laughs> for a little while. This roadblock, but dealt with it. And gained a recruit too, and some intel. So directly west from this position is where we need to go. To the river. Or, wait, you got a chance to rejoin, because you want to go across the river, but if you were to cross the river, you want to go, anything I fear is they'll see us approach this way, if you go across that bridge, it could already be patrolled, rather than going on foot, but then I wouldn't be able to bring the MG with me, hmm. All right, let's go knock on the front door. Hang on. I got my position on the map. Is that because I've got a radio now? Must do. Cool. Reload. It's always got a possibility on this. If you travel anywhere near main roads, then they could. There's some roadblocks there. I think I'm going to stay away and just browse. Explosion was nice. <laughs> it was one satisfying detonation. I need to put the map name into because the how does the map goes? Is it Wolfenlingen? But that's not how you say it in German, right? Gotta get the pronunciation of the map correct. You know, with the guns that these guys are starting off with, SKSs and MGs, it seems like a get a good fight out of them. Oh, hang on a second. 
Got something ahead here. So I give them a little hello, hello. Nicely done. Scramble, let's see. Disembark. Four. Disembark. Watch my back here. I'm gonna arrest this guy, see if we get some information out of it. Hmm. I'm guessing these are the local police. Easy. Right, any more of you around here? Hmm. I'll let you go. Tell them up. Tell everyone in town about us. We're on our way in a minute. You won't disappoint either. Plenty of ammo. Do you not actually need first aid kits? With the mid kit. Number two stood on the HUD there. Get in. Three, four, get in that vehicle. Reload Push that gun. Low on ammo. That oh, must be the last mag in there too. That's what he's done. Run straight back. Alright, let's stay away from it. I don't want to hit any surprise garrison in there. I'm sure we'll be on the telephone. So I need to check out the bridge in front here. See if I can get this vehicle across. But he's already saying that there's low ammo. I asked him to reload the box. And I think he's in the last one. Looking for it. Another patrol. Turret is also damaged. I'm going for it if I can get over here. Can he rotate that? I'm going off road. Let's stop outside here. Jackson, before you do the same, he's got no ammo left. Whoa. 
No! Stay there, I got you. Oh, take him out, please. Hopefully, you got him. Guess so. Gotcha. Stay there. Please help. It's the spam fest here. It's only double tap you need. You okay? Wait, I hear footsteps. Right there. Right, go get ammo. these guys Вперёд командование Need more of you <sighs> We'll go let them know then Just gone through it all. all right, what about you? What's up on this case? Medic! These guys are going very uh, nuts with it, but I don't think it's going to be very accurate. You, know, they, you can hear them with the SKS going bump, 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 because that's as fast as they can fire it, you know, but it's not very accurate to spam it. Which is probably why we survived. All right, any more of you? Hell. Yeah, too many say that. I'm going to recruit you. Takes a 30 round tracer. That's why I was spamming it. Banana clip in the SKS. Make sure that you have weapons and ammo. What about the ones that cut down in the bush here, I think? I'm sure, I put one down here. And there. Alright, so where I intended to be, we've got to make our way down the road and then off here to the military administration. Bodies out here. No way. That's the same two. Is firing at me. Well done. Or says he's got no ammo. 
let's you pick up another gun. It's a twin. It's the first time I've been into a a town. All the buildings are customized. All of them. Lovely. It does look like a nice place to live. Better tell me where the rest of you are. Go get out of here. All right, four. Let's see if I can get in touch. She pick up. Four. Patch yourself up. Get him to pick up another gun. That's the vehicles. That's the command thing. Rearm at the crate. Four, rearm. Wherever he is. <laughs> Fall back. I don't quite know where he's gone. Well, where the hell are you? Go to this box. Go over here. Pick up this wonderful weapon. And there you go, like rearm. Now you have ammo. Sorted. Because around this corner and literally at the end of the T junction is where the military base is. Set that zero into one hundred.
Maybe they got him. Getting close. Doesn't look civilian to me. Looks like Petros. Could be someone in here. Good view though, and everything else. That's the end of the Chi Junction, that's the administrative building there. Five to three. Well, let's take a look inside. Hmm, may have shot a hostage. Get out of here. Hmm. Right thing feels good.
Right out. Oh shit, that bounce pad. Same to you, man. Always good communications, I like it. Good. I thought the hostages, this is the commander. So defeat this guy, and you've effectively got the outpost. Let's interrogate him. Enemy's latest report contains information about an arms dealer has arrived in our arrestor's country. We need to find him established contact. All right, thank you for the information. How about you join us? Good to do leadership material. Wrong answer. <clears throat> Thought he was just going to walk away. See that? I know. Extract as much as I can before, you know. Just gonna walk away and deny us the mission where we get support now. Yes! Come on! Love us in this town. Alright, any more enemy around here? Quickly revive them and then go through all the saving information. Dubba. Dubba? Juicy. I like the work they've done on these buildings. Into the town, it feels like something completely new. Right, what about the guy? The one over here? He's gone. And the dude outside is, yeah, he's gone on that headshot. <clears throat> right, I've got an awful lot of loot here. So first of all, you guys can pick up what you need. Let's interrogate the rest of them. I don't think we have to worry about, but I'm just going to try and recruit as many as I can. Now I want to pick up all those weapons. And as I came out, I saw this vehicle here, which looks pretty nice. Armored.
Wow. Anything in it? Of course not. Am I stuck on? Alright guys, let's go get me uh, weapons and ammo for this vehicle. Everything to the vehicle. start putting it into the vehicle. No, that's because they needed to go into the vehicle. Oh, see, I'm doing it the wrong way. Right, so you go in here, tell them to get in. Get in that vehicle. Come on, quickly. It was a combat situation. Danger. Yes, sir. Get in. Get in that vehicle. Fire. Don't hear you, though. Return to formation! Last fire! Where are you, number two? Oh, this is... What the hell? I suppose he was just, uh, guarding. The idea is now I go select you guys and then do that, and I should pick up all the stuff. There we go. Bravo. Right, so we successfully gained a foothold in Paponoli. And the arms dealer is very close by, so we're going to pay him a visit. He's in the field right next to an army outpost. Not probably going to be able to get much room at the moment because we start the game, but at least we fix his position. Good stuff. No roadblocks there. How many troops have got? Ten. That's enough for a decent combat mission somewhere. But I can't recruit them here because they're not flagged, so... Moving this then. But can I take that outpost with three? Let's go have a look. What have we got in there now then? Very little to lose. Let's get in. Get in that vehicle. Ajudayu Kasani. Ajudayu Kasani. Right, successful, second successful mission. Right, up 
up here and take a right. Jeez. Oh, come on. I don't have third person. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> I did hit the brakes, but... <laughs> oh, come on, man. It just took me to, like, very high. Well, that's one chalked off of the map. This thing's pretty strong. I think I'm going to pull the uh, MG truck with me. Let's give it a little inspection. Are you telling me there's no ammo in this thing? You. There's another mag. Whatever's left in that mag plus 28 shots. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, let's reconfigure this. Gunboat, good morning, Stunnick. How you doing? Alright. Okay. Disembark number four. Three. Disembark. Get onto the GAC. No. Get onto the UAZ. Right, we should be pulling this along. Confirmed by cam. This, this vehicle's ahead of its time. Rear view cam. Going on. How you doing, Bubba? Good afternoon, sir. So we're going to check out this arms dealer and maybe attack that, attack that base. That should go off road here. He's still with us. Good, thank you. We are in challenging times. Right, keep on the road. Don't go onto the road. There's the communication tower to the left. Hoping it uh, could be a checkpoint there. Where's the tent for the really awkward place to actually put the arms dealer? All right, next to the military base. Let's keep keep going. In a forest area, okay. It's, it's secluded then. Let's take it on the road, see what happens. Oh, 
feel free to fire back then. Bones. You've got some fantastic stuff here. Look at you, 850 bucks. M1903, one sniper. Stop you, yes. Right, we don't have time. I seem to have lost the... Where did the truck snap off? It was behind me. There it is. Feel free to shoot it. He's looking right at it. Oh, let's shoot it, man. Crash this thing. Let's reload it. It's just nineteen rounds, or is there more? In oh, it's just nineteen. Let's see if I can get a shot at it. Let's go. Problem is they know exactly where we are now, but Bid them. They've just, they've just blown up the truck. They were sent to destroy that truck. Sure. There you are. Gotcha. One by the tree there.
Got another one. Got him. Wrap somewhere over there too. Wow. that drone up in the air, they're just surrounding us. One in that bush there, and I think one shooting there. It's so hard to see them out. See, you helping him? Alright, I'll cover you. Just in front of me there. Got me. <clears throat> yeah, we don't don't know what tactics they're going to use. I was expecting something like that too, but it seems that they use the drone to call troops and to attack us from different directions. The primary objective was they've taken out that gun, which they did. That group in the trees. It was hard because it took out a few of them, but they managed to get themselves back up. I'm, I'm actually being rezzed here. Oh, crap, I was. Still one up. He's going to go for it. Just took a shot in the shoulder. Seems last stand. Looks like he's, he started to revive. Is he go, oh, he, oh, he intends to again. Yep, he's gonna try again. Oh, no way. What is drawing their fire? Because they're not shooting this way anymore. Hang on, they got... Is that a US asset or a Russian one? Something else has kicked off here. One, taking command. Hang on. Are they US paratroopers or Russians? Trying to 
obsessed with the shooting from I really wish I had smoked now there I'll try and get you first They're shooting at each other. Okay, there's US troops involved here. Because see what, what other faction are coming coming to our rescue. Get out of it. MG. Close. See him right next to him. See if I can steal this stuff. What? Still alive. No time to race you, sorry buddy. Oh man, they're right next to me still. Look at this guy. Right there. Oh. Damn it. Oh, wow. And he's still going to try and cover save me. <sighs> Not much else I could do there. Bit of a snake in the grass, small one, eh? They're rushing out that base over the side. I mean, there they must be. That's what I don't know. What? What? No. No. <laughs> it's exposed there. <laughs> oh man. Nice try, medic. Millet. What's that? Militaris. Melatia this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Medic! Please help! Check to see. I think our other guy was also down already. He's over there. Medic! Nope, not much I can do about that, but that was one hell of a fight. Oh, he absolutely does. Help! Read one, two, 
Six, so let's nine, have a look. Four, one, we got to the arms bonus. dealer. About here. Drone was put up from the radio tower. Well, of course, it was because we were spotted on the way in. There was a little exchange. Drone was flying around, just basically picking up targets that need to be hit. Was kind of expecting, like, I think you guys were seeing in the past, there'd be, like, pummeled with a load of mortar rounds or something. But it looked like, looks like the better assessment was to send in troops down this road. They may have come down there and then used the trees, or they were just deployed out somewhere else. But there was a moment there... Now I'm wondering if it's, is it close enough to this outpost to be of any, any difference? But to me, there was two factions firing at each other. There was, we attacked, attacked the ones along this road and did a lot of damage to them. But there was, there was troops in this field and there was some kind of exchange of fire over the top. I don't know, just needed more, um, more power. Definitely needed more troops for that rather than that's quite surprising amount of takedowns for three. Mm hmm. Right, what to attack next? I could go back there. It could be still on. Could be re reinforce. attack it from this position though the north through the trees all the way to the wall yeah i gotta give it a go let's see what's going on there let's get my equipment plus some smokes yeah u.s army aggression is low right so was it was it just that they were, every time we sort of went low, there was just like bullets bouncing over the top, flying over the top? Or is there another faction that was jumping and having a go there? Because you would have thought the state of the US Army would have changed. I mean, that was up in the sky, that plane. Whose was it? I didn't really identify the, the paratroopers. And if they were the ones that I took down on the ground, that uh, squad leader, then... Then no. Little Russian. Alright, these guys are out of it. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get back in time. Got 12 HR and a bit to spend. Let's get an armoured vehicle. By the weapons I picked off that squad leader. No. Then difficult to tell. Hold up. Helicopter. South. That's flying from the... Hold up. Got to add binoculars. Might be one of those touristy thingies. I don't know if they exist on this one. One of those, those touristy thingies that I, I've never found out what the actual significance of these things are because they're very tempting to shoot down, but the game doesn't really like it when you do. I'm very tempted. I reckon I could get them from there. Boom! Yeah, 
don't have a malfunction like you're landing here or what? I think he needs sorting out. Will you stop giving away my position? <laughs> Get up! Yes, there is. When when you buy the steel sea, you get um, the two variants. As there is a snow snowy variant of this here. There is a winter version. Look, this dude started doing laps around here. Ever increasing speed. I think it's just the local heli show. But I still have no idea what the significance of those things. Alright, let's get make sure I get some smokes added. That's what I feel like. They're mapping the area, like giving the enemy all the information. They just randomly turn up. They don't really drop anything as far as I'm aware. And then they're off. That's, that certainly looked like a bit of a spy mission to me. But I guarantee you shoot it down, you'll get all the negatives. Right. No launchers. Just going to add a few smokes. Space. Oh, can't fit them. Two. I'll save it there. All right, my experts. Full force. Maybe not quite the full force, I'm just spent out there. Alright, a lot of you, in. Right, from here it's direct west. I'm going to take the road up north, all the way to Barbendorf. Checking out for roadblocks when I go through here. I'm then going to go up to this road here. If there's no roadblocks, then I'm going to go down from here into the forest. On foot, we're going to walk all the way up to that wall. Trying to take that outpost. Grenades over. Yeah, it's it's some kind of news crew, and it's in every every one of them or something but it's not exactly auto generating a a narrative to read read on the fly so it, i don't know what you says apart from a visual distraction i i always feel like it could be a spy This road, we should be up there. Yes, we are. Into the town, and then, yeah, I kind of got it. Then you go through the town to the left, and then the right up that road. <sighs> yeah, she's call themselves fact check news. Go for that one. BBC has reported, and it has been verified by our own fact-check division. That's <laughs> extra line now. <laughs> verified AI safe.
I mean, there's some incredibly brave reporting. I mean, you've got people there that give you the information right from the front line. They knew about the sub implosion. Man, I could stop this truck where it is and we can have a really long conversation about that one. Because that was a week. Yet, I mean... I've got a lot of hindsight and everything, but... I suppose I understand what some of the professionals are saying. That all three lines of communication were lost. You know, telemetry, comms, backup. Very quickly. Oh, hang on, what's this up here? Got a couple of snipers there. I'm just, I'm just going to head up, go through. I'm going to try and go through. Oh my god! Problems. Crap. Down the ditch. Roadblocks are definitely good in the there he is look. Oh we got the gun, huh? Positive we might as well change for that vehicle, huh? Change of the gun right at the edge. Come on, swim. Look at all the weight of this stuff on me. Look. Killer. See if I can get the buddy up. No, he's gone. All right, you guys with me. Vehicle, if we can. We'll fire blanks. Six. Get on top of that gunner. Very short interrogation. No. Here. That's it. 
Go tell them what happened here. Beautiful surroundings. I love it playing new maps and exploring deeper into them. You just visually discover new things. Very nice. Very believable. Join us. Good, good, good. And this was squad leader. Because I'm letting him go, it's reduced. I thought it's best to do that after a victory situation. Really, I'm attacking Spectre 138 minutes. And okay, gonna uh, disembark. Find yourself some more stuff if you need. Oh, yes, get myself a vest if one of them's got one. Forget I'm carrying around a pouch. This guy's got one. that military base and it in you too so th those guys should be able to go to is it is it option seven reporting port status Two, three reporting over Hmm. Well, thanks for reporting. <laughs> Get in. Get in that vehicle. It's very unfortunate what's happened, and and it's like, it's always our risk reward with these things. I mean, you're diving to the depths of Titanic, you know, you're like, was it 6,000 PSI? Um, and although you, you know, you pay, pay a tremendous amount of money to go on these type of trips, and there's a cutting edge, but there's a lot to learn from this for sure. I mean, it, it does seem as though the majority of people is talking now like um, and there was evidence to the fact that the carbon fiber show was not really proven technology uh, at least definitely not for a commercial environment so I guess that's what we learn isn't it that if all the situations that happened to come out of it and you were never going to come out of it then what happened was you know microseconds so you know nobody was sitting there running out of uh, oxygen as they were you know, running it but I'll say this media are always going to report on things until you know there's some conclusion or something like that you know you get some end to it or the next big thing comes along but in the, on the defense of the actual media themselves they couldn't verify anything at the depths until they got the right RV equipment through. There was two RVs, uh, one from the US, I think one from somewhere else, that have, you know, 
cutting edge tech on it and movable arms. And it was only when they could get down to the depths and when they put them in, they put them straight down to near where that area was, you know, where they were going to start the actual trip. So, you know, if it was an implosion. So it, it was there, you know, there was a long time where you, you know, you have hope and you always do because it's also very hard to spot something like that from the, even the top of the ocean. But I think the best thing they can learn from it is, you know, something under that pressure is, is going to be, you know, continually crushed. Um, so it's, it's like, how does the material last all those attempts, you know? And again, say it's, a lot of experts say no, it's not really you want to do but I'm pretty sure that every individual on that expedition knew that there's a risk you know there's no way you go oh, there's something on fire over you don't go down to that distance you know not not accepting that there is a probability that it doesn't matter what submarine you're actually in there could always be an outside thing that something happens you know, but you get to see the Titanic you can always shoot that UAV if you like playing out huh Get it. So I could do, I could leave the other guy driving this. Yeah, foot maybe. What's he aiming at? Shoot at it. Oh man, he's about to get trashed. actually meant to be firing at this. I don't know what he's doing. But... You are complete nutty, isn't it? Right, I'll get you away from that soon as they're probably going to destroy it. Medic! Only level ones. Higher levels would definitely be firing at the, uh, the drone. See exactly where we are and move appropriately, it's so difficult. Okay, then I'm putting some smoke down. We can pull him to safety. Well done. Let's hope that they can't see through the trees of that drone so well. The US Navy detected the implosion on Sunday. Hmm. But is that like after analyzing it and realizing 
you know, because once they saw the debris field, then they kind of know that the that an implosion has, has happened. And then, uh, you know, you can build the picture of, of the events. Oh wow, they've just parachuted in a load of support there. That, that drone system that they're using is wicked. It needs to be taken out as soon as possible. at least. around I can't see him at all. Uh oh. That's more than I want to deal with right now. Plus we've got those guys who are parried in. They've dropped troops in two locations outside of this place. Some of them are firing down the road, and there are others up here. So at least eight of them, I reckon, were dropped in here. like the smallest bush. Foiled second attack. <laughs> it's not experienced enough yet. That drone is is doing its work so well, and they're dropping in reinforcements multiple sides. Those dudes basically rushed us Ready. out from the flag, and then they had some in the back. It's quite, quite good. It's fun to go up against. 
Right, uh, so well, we've got 13 left, CCM got 1,001, so I think we need to go on a little, um, a couple of missions to build up. Yeah, it is close. I mean, you're getting close. I think it's close because there's two parts to that. Probably if we had a few more peeps, we'd be able to get rid of those like extra forces that they're sending in, but then it's getting the flag and then holding it. How's it going to react to that? That drone needs to come down first. And at the moment, the AI are not attacking it in the um, in that on that gun thing. They look at it, but they don't seem to fire. And I, I believe that's a level thing. You know, a couple of le more levels they're training, and you find that they probably will shoot at greater distances. But it's just doing its thing. It's just spotting. I think actually, generally moving into the forest here for a while confused the enemy because I was able to move all the way right, and you could see the enemies were moving around, but they didn't know I was there until I shot at them. So they lost, lost the uh, contact. Right, let's see what's gone on here. So murder population zero. Oh, that's good. So I didn't actually, that truck incident at the start doesn't even count. Must have been a spire. <laughs> awesome. We've got 69 support out of... It's getting there. Getting there. We've still got one, one town of Papanrodi. Quite happy with that. Quick loadout and just go on something like an assassination mission. It detected a sound uh, that might have been uh, an implosion, and ocean is extremely noisy with our capabilities. It's likely the Navy uh, was fairly certain. Yeah. I think they, they can, they've got system, um, people and systems that will probably be able to analyze the sound and, and, and work out what it, what it is. And especially when you've got that time frame narrowing it down that the implosion happened on the, it, you know, it's, it's 99.9% .9 happened as soon as communication was lost. You know, something, the catastrophic just took it all out at once. And that's where it was. It dropped exactly where it was at that point in the, com the communication, but it being so far down. They couldn't confirm with rovers, and they're not going to say people are gone until they know that they're gone, right? So it was. Um, I don't. I don't necessarily think it was the press that were eking it out. Um, I just so happened to be watching uh, Sky News, and the guy on it was um, was a friend of. Um, uh, he was an investigator himself, but he was also a friend of two of the people on this. Right, so he was talking to the head, and straight away, you know, when they said there was a press conference three hours away. And they were talking about debris, then you knew straight away because they weren't going to actually announce it. But he got information saying that they told him, they said they found the frame and the back part of it. At that point in time, they confirmed at least three parts that they'd seen. And then, of course, immediately, you know, frame, that's part of the integral structure of the thing. You know, it's like bolted to the outside. And so we got the idea. So I'm, I'm not quite sure it was like a, I don't see it as like the press's fault trying to, you know, just, you know, it's, just, it's a new subject to talk about and people, you know, you hope for the best that you, that you do find them and see so unpredictable. It was difficult. Just couldn't be confirmed until the, the right equipment was on scene to do it. And it's impossible. Because, you know, if the implosion happened, you got the debris of the the, um, the submarine on the, on the bottom and it's not moving. And you would probably have to scan that area with some kind of surface radar, um, which would you know, take time to go over and it just an analyze. It's just depending on what equipment you got in the scene and really they needed the rovers to go down there. Go, join group. Well, that's it. That's what we're lucky to have such a, you know, there's more than one um, section of military involved from different countries and then all, everyone sort of gets together and pulls in all the resources, you know, certainly doing everything within the time frame of the hope that you're alive and there is oxygen. You don't, you don't give up at all. Oh, you reckon they, they lied about the noises? Yeah, I don't, I don't actually, I know about the noises of obviously watching it, but I, you know, I don't know where that piece of information came from. Yes. It's not good to make stuff up, really. But... So I don't, I don't know. 
the sonar boys go down and then you know or floating on the surface and then they put some probably that sink sink down to certain depths and it can pick up an awful lot with it i mean submarines of that sort of technology is fairly easy to pick up you know it's like the size of the object the the depth they would um you know even modern day submarines they don't they don't go down to depths like that deliberately and they wouldn't because the amount of stress it puts on the hull every time a submarine dives it puts stress on its hull and it has a certain mileage and it's going to be the same for this carbon fiber it, you know so many so many times it was okay but how often was it replaced i mean if if that was the i, I don't know this sequence of events but I would have been extremely worried if that was the only sub that was in service after it, you know, went through its initial trials. Because if that truly was made out of carbon fiber, how many times, I mean, with airplanes, you look for like sh stress fracture fractures and on, on the wings and things like that using Three, like x-rays. You know, it's, it's like you're, you're trying to, um, an ultrasound, you're trying to look for imperfections or all the time and, and it's like um was that ever done because that would be super surprising if they weren't actually you know looking deep into how the structure's performing you know instead of saying oh well it, it passed its test it's going to work you know at least a thousand times you don't know that even with like top top of the line you know stealth fighter craft you have to keep keep looking at you know using ultrasound and actually just have a look at the the outside of it so it's like was this was that only one it was just being used again and again because yeah, I wouldn't have touched that. It's, it's easy hindsight, but I wouldn't looking into it think, hang, hang on a second. I, I would say you've probably got like, what, three or four dives for that sort of thing. And then, you know, maybe change it. <laughs> Bring in the improved design. That's going to be expensive. If you, look, if you look at some of the other designs, the subs are totally different, but they certainly don't use the same material. And yeah, I mean, the guy who... The guy's gone with it. It's like, um, I mean, it does seem with the email chain that I read this morning, it's kind of the attitude's a bit, a bit like, you know, obviously I'm proud of my, what I've created. And it's like everyone keeps saying that it's, it just won't do as a material, but you know, I'm going to show you that, that it, that it works, but it's, um, and it had worked up until that point, but it, it, it's like, I, I would be very interested to know if they were actually, you know, analyzing the material and how it performs over, over that amount of time. Because as I say, normal submarines have a certain amount of times that they, they dive, you know, the, the materials fatigue. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. It is it, it it we'll see what the I mean there'll be a full investigation and I think um at least the way it seems it's definitely going to point the finger's gonna be pointed at the the you know, the safety and, and the qualifications of such a sub, but it, it's like Well look at you just have to look at aircraft and uh, anything that has a commercial element to it has to has to pass face way better tests you know and you would usually commercial things that you would test things to destruction wouldn't you so you kind of know roughly how many times you could dive with that material and then you would like sort of you know use two thirds of that it's um Uh, well, there we go. I had to learn the hard way. Let's go for assassination. Kill the traitor. Where is he? <laughs> On the road between a military base. Not too far away, though. <clears throat> Alright, let's get a little vehicle to hide in. Lada 
1500. Leather seats. Cute. I got the proper sounds. I'm traveling up to this road from there. I go northeast to the river. I feel like I should be walking this one. Taking a very much needed. That's it. That's part. Okay, at least we can use to smash the barrier down. Hopefully, I guess there's a gate. Going to the sauna. How you doing, Mosh? Alright, coming up to the Great Barrier. I'd like to... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the smoke? There's fighting going on here. There'll be fighting. A lot of fighting. There's an attack on the... There must be an attack on the army base. See if this will do it. Part of us war. No problem. Oh, looks like that's our stop. <laughs> I can't even find it on the map. I thought it just, it was just like go over that easy. So I'm right next to the town of Locksteth, which is on that road, and in between is where the traitor is, but it's there's already Oh there Do you know what's Do you know what that is? That's because Um that 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 they're they're Russians. It's definitely, it's definitely the Red Army, Be and what it is is because they're in the proximity of the, of the uh, military base, they're being attacked, which just helps me out a ton because it might mean that it's, it's guards are down, so I'm going in. There's not another fence, is there? Okay, so what is there like one, one entrance and one exit? Wait, I might be able to climb on top of that. Would I want an electric tank? Well, it's kind of handy actually because you'd be able to plug it in in any home and get some get some juice might take several weeks to charge a battery that size certainly would would be quieter less polluting is 50-50 mortar grid 1 4 3 9 5 1 mortar grid 1 4 3 9 5 2 yeah it's just Oh, I do it. Brilliant. Uh oh. Oh, they 
we doing here? If my gut feeling is correct, we are about here, and this section here is a bit along the road. Yeah, unless the force is protecting him, does it say anything about his getaway vehicle? You recognize the building by the nearby off-road and Red Army presence. Okay, so we've got kind of an escape vehicle. Get down. to war. It's a beautiful man. I have got time to look at them at the moment. I do like what they've done with the attention to detail and structures. see the off-road and there happens to be someone in the driving seat. Now that could potentially be him. Firing. Alright, I put the person in the driving seat down. You have to kill him off. Surprise. Whoa! There's obviously more. Oh, let me in! Okay, I didn't mean to do that there. You son. immediately ran up to that door to try and open it, but it selected the heel. Man, grid one, My only three, chance niner, here niner, five, is five, if that eight. is the right dude that I've shot in the truck there trying to escape, because that's usually what he does, he tries to grab the wheel and get out of there. Man if that down. was him, then he's bleeding out now. And it's like, Man. if he bleeds out before me, Demetrios Legos. Where is Demetrios? They're leaving behind in the car. Would 
be on his way. <laughs> if that guy bleeds out before me and doesn't get raised, then we complete we the mission. That's a major guess. Medic! Here! Help! Good job with the new tube, Grenadier. <laughs> I was just taking aim and I saw him swap something. Please help! He's just, Please help! Basically, he was putting a grenade on the, in the gun, I think, and boop! Popped it around the doorway. Where is he? I can't, can't see. I guess he's fallen by the side of the vehicle. And there's nobody there resin him yet. What I find odd is he wasn't actually driving away. I wonder if the vehicle was uh, damaged by the mortar strikes beforehand, so it's, it was bust. Yeah, I'm going to come back. I would fly an electric fl uh, airline here. I don't see any problem with that. The propellers go, or if it loses all power, at least you know, still got a chance that it, you can fly it, glide it down. You just don't have the range yet. That's the that's the biggie. It's the range. Vehicle. I've got enough for maybe one. Let's get in. Yes, there are white cutters. I just found them in the the start, but it's always easier to use the vehicle as a battering ram to go through instead. That's way quicker under operational conditions. Weifelingen. Weifelingen? Is that? There was a hole I made last time.
crap past the wheel this time. All right, second one down. Two, this mouse. Don't come with me. We are right on the corner of that fence. Exactly. Where did I park the other one? Did they take that? A wavy. Oh, I get it. Okay. So I've gone through up there. There's the other troops, I think. In that corner. The car would be somewhere around there, I reckon. Let's get out of it. Go, stay alert. Stay alert and get over it. to this building in front. A protected town. Go up into this building and see if I can get a better shooting position for engagement. Where are you? Oh, 
There was two of them. Yes, there is. Gotcha. Well, there you find the well done. Two danger. About pick it up a bit. Now I need to go east up this way. Mm, motorbike. Verses a bit. Military truck. Okay, so where am I on the main road here? Slinging three kilometers, which is okay. We are back on that road, so I need to go south down Bendy One. This one. Oh well, it definitely happened here. Heard someone shout enemies something something. SKSD. I like this with its extended mags. Let's do drop it straight down on the ground. Come on. Hey. <clears throat> Still here. No. So I've almost destroyed it. I got one in the gun anyway. Okay, round two. Mission is still on. 1355 it's meant to be done by. So that was the driver, maybe not him, because I'm sure we But 
that's not a drop top. The other one was. The other one was convertible. Yeah, I should have taken the radio, right? I'll get one of this guy instead. Definitely the truck could use. Spotted one. Building is he in? Got him. Oh, close though. You can see the damage the mortar's done to this town. Pretty nuts. You smash the engine cover off that thing. Awesome. Get some cash. 600 bucks on him. the evidence. <laughs> Shit! Yeah, dude, uh, you will get out of the way of that, me. Come on. That's a tank. Oof, flip now. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be taking that military base. Let's see if this still works. I wasn't getting away. Hmm. Kind of needed to save that IED now. That might, might have done enough damage to a tank to stop it. Okay, stealthy. Man. See it. Yep. 
cuts the US level four armor. Sniper. Where? Move. I'm stuck in animation. Hey. Help. What the hell? Man, okay, I got a missile. Look at sniper. Had a really nice rifle as well. Standing by. Uh, the mission is completed. I'm happy with that. And I got 600 bucks off the dude in the pocket now. It's good for the mission too. And we can buy some more peeps to go for the next one. Right. Last one. Of today. I do feel this work is... Perfect. Let's see if we can get a good stash back. Sticks. Oh, really? Crash site where? South. Well, I choose crash site. Uh, we must get to it before. 1500 enemy frontline troops already found the crash site and guarding it. straight south until I hit the barrier and through the barrier we can navigate to the river to the objective which is somewhere there so I just need to go sort of south or well, straight south from here to the barrier yes and then I can navigate to the rush site so this one is a crash site no smoke needed and enemy is expected on on site too. Combat ready. Wow, that was ridiculously steep. I mean, I was. I was round to the side of him, heard the shot, but the, didn't realise it was that close. It sounded more like it was where I was trying to aim the gun, you know, assuming he's there. Good shot, sir. That's what I was trying to avoid the local town here.
cargo trucks spotted. Oh yes, they're probably coming to pick up the stuff. Makes total sense. Almost at the wall. There's no super close uh, base here, so I wouldn't have thought they got any more to come. Keep the wheels on. I'll do this a little bit sideways. Alright, so from this position, I kind of want to go a little bit southeast. as a guide which will be on my left. I actually wonder though, was there meant to be a second set of... Well, that's not a second set. smoke. Spotted it. Okay, hold here a moment. Let's go get some binoculars out, a little look. Guarding it or dropping some troops off, maybe. My tactical advantage would be up there in the forest. That's where we deploy. Why have I gone to stealth? What the hell? I've just got one more. How did I get one more? Who the hell? Who the hell's bit on Lagos? Is that the pilot? I just pick him up. See that bit on Legos. That bite on leg. Is that thing is that thing armed or is it just doing a recon? I'm moving the truck up. Get close on that ridge.
just gonna go to this ridge here that I saw to the well it's kind of in front of it. Yeah, so left hand side before but it's in front. Right here. Everywhere. So it must have dropped these troops off. There's quite a few of them, too. teammates. I'm sure they're going to start shooting as well. I'm stuck. There he goes. Smokes out, huh? Some might be close to it. That bounce, something like that. There's someone on that ridge somewhere. I can't actually get a look at him. Yeah. They will flank him. There. shooting at me here too. Let's get him. Let's try and let's see if I can get around him a little bit more. Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks better. down. I think there's another one near that chopper. Another two. Alright guys, this is what I want all of you to do. Push on that chopper. Go. Hold up. Friendly or not? We'll come back. back. It's like a mislocation there. Hello. There's another though. There he is. Got him. One behind the chopper. Are they actually coming out the back of the chopper? Moving in. Alright, let's see if there's any anti air in there. In the box. So none of them have got rounds. That's anti air. But I don't think it locks on this one. Why'd you change? I didn't press that. Is it going to fragment near it, do you think? It's close. That's not anti air, is it? It's anti armor. It works though. Get out of it. Heads up, boys. Right, get your noses in these boxes as well. All of you. Grab what you need. In 60s. If that thing comes back now, it's stupid. Need a truck. Oh, in fourteen. DMR. 
Let's scope the Covering fire, I think. Shame they don't pick it up, but I guess if it was on the floor, they might. Come on, guys. I don't know if they picked up any of the weapons. It's a shame. That sometimes I'm like not bothered. Be good if a couple of them with M60. Da -da 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 -da. Pull me that way. Don't pull me that way. Come on. He's like, I'll get you closer. Heal them. left. my favorite asset. I've got quite a few injured here. You deal with these guys. Fight this. There. Yeah. Right, you're good. Medics back up. 
Number nine's in the truck. What are you doing, nine? The hell are you? Right, let's get it sorted here, shall we? That's what we need to get. Who else needs a heal? God, all the weapons here. I can't leave this. I'm gonna have to get pick up. Let's get the truck. Two, patch yourself up. Two, patch yourself up. Return to formation! Alright, rearm. Grab what you need and I'm gonna go get the truck. <laughs> Love the way I took that out and the other one just like legged it. It just throw the DMS on the floor. That wasn't me, was it? <laughs> yeah, that that is something I'm gonna get out very carefully. Yes. Did I bring an engineer? Ooh, there's someone down here. Dead. All right, we lost one. About nine. Nine. yourself up. I would say that's pretty good. We lost one, one man in total in that gunfight there. Got them by surprise. Took out one chopper. Um. Burning over there, and we've got a load of US soldiers up the road there that are side to engage. But we're quite far away from anything else. What's the time limit on this? Get it before 1500, so there is plenty of time. So we'll pick up stuff as well. Get it loaded next time. Make sure you bring a box with you. Stand down a second. Stay sharp. Do a better scope. We got a mine, MK12, spotting rifle. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. Well, no. No worries. No 
I still produce them. If I get all these guys in the back. And get them to loot around this area, see what they pick up. Two's a fat negative, which means must be full up. All right, you guys go out and find, buy me some loot. Excellent. I think we're going to have enough space to pick up the American weapons too. Let's get as many of you in as can. Get in that vehicle. Two here, and the rest of the group actually moved down the road. Do this first. See what space we've left. Yes. Got the favor of the town locally too. Alright, war level's gonna that means we're something now. Kakaeva 
Ich habe ihn nicht downloading there. Unless they've gone for a long walk over here. Alright, as many as possible. U.S. Army Punishment. Oh, wow. They're going to attack that town? I don't think so. Where is it from a position? I mean, I've got to get this back within a certain amount of time. One hour server time from here. Or I defend this town. What should I do? Punish, do some bombing runs on it or something, try and scare them back. stuff back I sent troops to go and move into that that town and drop this stuff off and then rush back that's a nice hole Yeah, you need patience to overall campaign. It, it is totally up to how you play it. I mean, if you smash everything up, destroy all the buildings and wreck all the cities and towns and everything like that, it's going to give you negative, make your life harder. It, it is better to play tactical, but late, later the game when you have all those troops at your disposal to score, or bring in not just your tenant group, but also able to, um, you know, send in a much large army spotted a truck so that is probably I'm sending where is it I'm sending an attack in somewhere The game does uh, deliberately ever increasingly throw things harder at you, but it does have an element of self-preservation as well. You could see that there was two helicopters circling, right? One dropping off troops and then start to circle, and you hit one, the other one moves off, because it's like, well, hang on a second. Isn't it better off if I try and keep this one? If I can ramp up this. No, let's not try that again. Let's go around. Yeah. 
you take one down and it's like, okay, off with that. But it, it sent in a... managed to drop that group of troops. How the hell do I get out of here? on this thing. How the hell do I get out of here? Deliberately got this. There's just no way, right? Alright, I can go around this edge. Stops just there. Well, there might be mines here. Actually, can I drive around this, or has it got like a. Oh, there is like kind of a fault there. Not that bad. There is, there is, there is, there is, there is. Sounds like they're dropping bombs. <coughs> Excuse me. sound of that was rockets. On a six I heard a rocket kind of travel over. little bit of zigzagging. Oh! Holy crap. That's a chopper. It's gotta be. Get out. No, we're all dead. Fair play to the pilot there is very persistent. So that was a uh, jet. I mean, I even, I even saw one rocket bounce off the floor and go left there. It was, what, what I tried to do there was, because uh, it was coming in for a dive, I tried to sort of uh, turn left and, and move away from it because it was coming straight for me there, but it had, had me locked. Please help. 
Oh, those beautiful weapons, man. Look at this DMR. I could, I could, I could go back to the site, which is not far away. It's just marked this like here. Oh no! How to me? I'll respawn. We're gonna try and get some of that back. One, taking command. I think we can clearly see where it is. <laughs> it's uh, it's marked on the map. Let's get on those. Not enough. There's nothing with space there. Um, all right, forget that. No, what have I got? Three nine six. Fishing boat. <clears throat> that was some clever stuff. That was just... Now, we've, won the, we've done the mission, or we think you've won the mission. Then you know that the US have got their air assets in there because they're trying to attack for the punishment, right? But is that a system where the because we were locally spotted and been shot at, that it called that in, or called them over, to say, look, hey, there's a priority target over here, full of peeps, full of weapons, or whatever you see, you know? All right, guys, hold on. The box is still intact. Must be fireproof coating. Nice one. I need to go steal a truck. Oh, so the car goes to print. Get a truck. Let's see if there's one. Oh, well. This is stop. 
Тормовой вертолет. Квадрат. Один, четыре, шесть, девять, один, один. Какая ваша позиция? Truck. Really, someone's got one. Task assigned. Oh, yeah, okay, that's changed. Doesn't seem to be one around. I could sell a couple of these vehicles and then take them back and come back. It's not that far from the actual base, is it? go about two miles an hour tone. <laughs> oh, it's got some. along this road. Very brittle front wheel assembly. <laughs> yeah. I mean... I agree, especially if it was like a bush. Makes you wonder if, um... Definitely a fireball waits happen. Oh, much better if someone just left the truck the side of the rest of the cars, but Got for chopper site, crush site, victory. Fifteen hundred. Okay, that's time. It's plenty of time. The idea is take all these, sell them, convert it for a truck. By the way, the punishment there has actually destroyed that town. That's ruthless. I lost the troops in that region, but that, that's ruthless. They, they literally bombed it. Destruction. So 
so we don't get the benefit of HR. That's an interesting dynamic. I'm not sure they have seen that done to that extent. There's nothing I can do to repair that town either. Like it's coming back, so it's not going to give us any more resources. Wolfflingen, was it Voit? Voit? How did Wolf? Is it Wolfflingen? Nobody's been able to say it properly in chat. Taxi, come on. There we go. Oh, so now I know we we'll actually increase the speed then. Oh, one snapped off. Okay, let's let's it would have been enough. We're gonna look at petrol, so give me the rest, but that's all the way down there. Right. Come on. Give it back, we'll complete the mission, you know. Advance. I should have grabbed 500. Yeah, this is painful now. All I wanted was a truck. something I can see. I can find something. By the way, we're all up there, all the way back to... Let's go back to... Flipping. All this for a mission.
simple as that. Stop. closest town is actually this way. The next closest town. Pop G flashbacks there. I could transfer the stuff to another vehicle, but it's a matter of actually trying to complete what started there. This whole heli crash thing, I mean, there was an epic battle for it. Just going to keep my eyes out for some, some civilian. down that way. There's a roadblock down that way. Could there be no trucks? So as you see one everywhere. I'm not just driving into a post for no reason. You know something. Where am I going now? Yeah, this is a middle of nowhere. Pay rice. We've been in this mess. Just getting that either, that won't take the box.
Well, I mean, there's been a lot of action around, so I guess that has chased them off for a while. Oh, you would have thought you'd get some sieve or something with a truck just... driving around it. No reason for... All this way for me. Thank you. See you later. Medic. Strong legs. Oh, these flipping taxis, man. That's all. So isn't going to work. But let's say in theory, in theory, I could get all three back in time down that road. You know, let's just say in theory. Oh shit! There we go. Hundred and ninety eight. This game is really three hundred and ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine. Can't still can't buy the object. Tell all these troops like dismissed. I'll get the cash back. <laughs> Move six hundred meters north. Return to formation. Stop it, some hands. There we go. Какая ваша позиция? Three. Why? Give me cash back for the troops. Oh my god! It did this last time that this thing just there's delay in pulling it away. Seven. Oh. 
We'll wake up. Being towed. There we go. We're moving. Ninety-nine. <laughs> Sorry, this. <laughs> no. Yes. How much time? these bushes are Taking the yes. logic. Well, there you go. Persistence paid off. You, you think you're getting a lift? Good place if you still get truck. <clears throat> it's just for the pride of getting it finished. It's all like us. I get promotion. Six hundred. All those. Well, some of them. I wonder if I need to go back. I'm going to go back there in a box. See if any of that stuff survived. So they keep following me. Right, nine and two. Three, join group. Get Hang on, who's that? Orati? I sent you off me. Just made it back over here. 
be from that initial deployment. Okay, man, get get to me. It was worth it. It was worth it. That's every single, every single mission complete so far today. I do not think there's one I've actually failed. chat thank you for being with me today on stream don't forget to hit the like button and uh, share this man this out there should be a few of these this month and whatever else I can find too but I like this map very much from what I've seen so far Some decent, decent fights. Some very good ones for the the flags. <clears throat> I'll transfer those guys. Disembark. If I try two, three, six. Right, let's see if I can miss him. Right then. Um That's just five. That's the one. Five and then report status. Done and done. Done and done and done. All and Ben, thank you for subscribing. So we've got 72 on the support, uh, murder population 80, but that would, so to look at what I've achieved overall, um, rank and getting some weapons back, um, probing stuff around the area, of course, a bit of prestige for a while, but what was very interesting is the way that the US treated this particular town here on this scenario. Um, they turned with us because obviously they were impressed with the big fight they had with the helicopter crash here. But yeah, the chopper crash one, I doubt it. Potentially if I had like a truck, I probably could have brought it up and then I could need to refuel it as well. But we haven't seen any of them around yet. But because of that, um, which is a great battle for the uh, for the heli, these guys are impressed, and then they just got taken out, so it's like a punishment. But that's been 
the reason why it's gone black is because it's been totally totaled. It's out there, out the game, which means won't be getting any um any recruits from that region. And it'll stay like that, and I'm pretty sure there's nowhere to repair it. Destroyed this administration here, so we got Papon Road still. That was um was a fun fight too. But nothing to hold yet. I see a little bit of weakness here. But grabbing one of those resources will be really important. Uh, it'll be hell to kind of hold at the moment. But yeah, every mission complete. It's it's good sometimes to do those rather than go for for crazy targets, but I think both has kind of ended up sometimes hand in hand. Especially in this arms dealer area as well. Almost got to this this tower, but the, the reinforcements were good. Needed a ten strong AI team to take this rather than a you know two or three. Might um, might have made a difference there, but re getting a resource there is just vital because every tick you kind of get a really nice uh, cash to be able to spend on the. Uh, Upgrades. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get one, but they're very well placed on this map. I, I see some weakness over here. I say I see some. Because that's the most re sort of remote one I can think of just dropping in there. And if they haven't, you know, reinforced it well, it's quite possibly a good take. But it does have this US Army outpost down the road too, so. I do not see, oh, actually this, I can now I do see, it does have a military base mine, but there are two resources here in this southern, southeast area of the map. You know, that's what I think I might, might go for. With that distance, you take one of these, you're then going to get attacked probably from whatever's going on here, but to actually be able to, Maybe punch it a few times to take its two areas. Probably very, very beneficial. Can hold it. Some anti tank and anti on the roads. Once you get hold of one of them, and especially, especially two, two means you get a such a great amount. Deploy what you want. Then I think I might have a crack at seeing what its response is when I try and take this. Which would be, even though the Reds, so that would be the US Army going up against there. Mm, yeah, very good mission. I really enjoy it. It's great effort goes into the production of uh, anti Stasian. It's the plus variant, but uses a community base and then sort of adds a few, a few different things to it. But it covers different maps as well. This one is one I have to run to run later DLC. Have a good night, everyone. See you on the next stream.